Good morning, good morning everyone. It is bank holiday weekend in August. And what are we doing, Mel? Cycling holiday. <laughs> we either go cycling or swimming. Or running. Um, sometimes sleeping. <laughs> and sometimes running. Uh, just to uh, assure you all that we will get through uh, the Lakes to London, uh, London Marathon kind of part. So um, we're trying to get in some back-to-back -back cycling. It is bank holiday weekend. So we're going on a little road trip. You can see our little backpacks. Uh, we've booked some hotel accommodation uh, in the Peak District. So we're going to ride out in a roundabout way. Uh, and end up hopefully a nice evening location for a bit of relaxation before cycling home again tomorrow. It's a lunch of champions. What is it we got there now? Chips. chips. Not cake, chips. And toasty. So chips and toasty for a little cycle stop along the way. Refueling. So you can see white bread here rather than brown bread because that's got uh, quick release carbs and I think we're going to need that for our next, oh, probably about 30 miles. We made it. Just. <laughs> Just. We're in, uh, we've now made it to Cromford and this is our bed for the night. So um, I think we're quite pleased that we've made it. I didn't, I think it looked a bit touch and go. So day two of our mini cycle bank holiday adventure um, and it's cycling home, which is quite a nice feeling, isn't it? It is um, because I know that going home and even Holly's tired today, which makes me very, very happy. <laughs> We're not cycling home to Nottingham via Manchester or Scotland. We're semi going home the direct way. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, you always know that something's wrong when I don't have the cycling beans. Uh, I'm normally like an excitable little puppy ready to go on a ride. So I'm looking forward to going home, but you have requested cake. Yeah. And cake. It looks like pretty good cake, doesn't it? But of course, with every plate, it's important to have the fruit and the vegetables. So I'm having some fruit. <laughs> So we're on the last stretch, backpacks are starting to get a little bit heavy, looking forward to a little afternoon siesta. There you go Mel, sprinting up the hill, she's still got it in her despite all of the fatigue. Not long now until rest day, which is tomorrow, yippee! So just arrived at the swimming pool uh, and the university and here is what I've got in my swim kit this morning. Toe float to uh, make my lazy legs uh, not work. Um, and some hand paddles. Won't be doing too much of that because that's quite a lot of pressure on the shoulders. Uh, multiple <laughs> spirit swim caps. A gel if I need it. Some high five to keep hydrated. And the excitement. These little babies and now completely molded to my ears. Um, and now the only challenge I've got is to work out what is the left and what is the right. Um, silicon, nicely colored, uh, and they should perfectly fit my ears. So let's see. I think you just joined us at the port where uh, Gemma, our physio said Mel has no inhibitions. I think if anybody has met Mel would probably know that that is true. So Mel's now got no clothes on other than pants and I think it's a pretty good special look with their socks. <laughs> it's a little wave of the socks. Um, she's had so much FOMO with uh, with me getting my cupping that she's now decided that uh, she's going to get some. So here we go. Uh, this is an exclusive for the Lakes to London Live Diaries. You might have seen this on our Instagram Live look. earlier. <laughs> It is quite a good look. Look, it's almost, it's almost a smiley face we could put in there, isn't there? <laughs> look at that, we can get all the angles. You look like a porcupine. You look, yeah. It is a very strange looking concept. Oh, look at that. Look at the way, oh my God, look at that. And now I'm slightly freaked out having seen it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> look at that. It's like little domes of muscle. The a a skin thing, that had been pulled in. Yeah, that I can feel the, the right side. Wow. Around my scapula is obviously tighter because I feel that it's... I'm like more. properly impressed with that. We'll try not to get the pant shot in uh, too much. We are off to Windermere um, for the 
the big one, the 11 miles, or as I think you call it, the big fight night. It is fight night, and what that means is uh, that Mel, who's been training most of this year actually, um, for the Chill Swim Windermere end-to-end -end event, which is uh, happening tomorrow. Keep watching the weather. Water temperature is looking good. Wind is looking a little bit dodgy, isn't it? Could be a little bit choppy. Yeah, um, your suggestion of earplugs, I might be taking you <laughs> up on them. Did you bring them? I did, but I, I think I also suggested seasick tablets as well, which uh, I don't think you were particularly amused at. How are you feeling about it? To be honest, pretty nervous. Nervous on a couple of reasons. My body is definitely creaking, so my hips being pretty sore over the last couple of weeks. Hence the Nurofen. The Nurofen. Um, I've had problems with my calves because I've been doing that stupid thing called running. So my calves have got a little bit um, tighter. Running. I think it's to do with the cycling as well. <laughs> no, it's definitely the running. Uh, so I'm hydrating lots of and um, trying to not get uh, the, let the chimp come out of its cage because it keeps banging on it to come and out what's the, the chimp saying to you at the moment the it's too cold it's too windy it's too far you're too old all those kind of things so why did you sign up all those many months ago i think over a glass of red wine well i didn't sign you up you signed up for it it's because not my you fault. suggested it holly well, i found the event and thought you suggested it holly <laughs> this is like the iron you suggested it, this holly. is like the iron man of swimming right because there's very few swims unless you do the channel uh, that you'll do this type of distance so why did you sign up because i had a glass of wine and when i sent it to louise minchin who subsequently bailed and kath pendleton and they all went yay let's do it i went let's do it but yeah so, so it was peer fomo pressure that kind of got you but you might you've got to want to have done it more than that right to do 11 mile swim always interested to see what you can do and how far you can go and I'm, it's a beautiful place it's an amazing experience to be have a more than, than capable and I think it's a challenge right so for me the definition of a challenge is something that you when you sign up for it you're not necessarily trained for or you're not 100% sure you're capable uh, so the mind might be willing but the body might need some training so I think it definitely fits that category for you because you're a pretty good swimmer very comfortable confident swimmer I've rarely seen you out of your comfort zone in the water so I think this is possibly one of those that's gonna test you right very much so and it's those kind of combination of having had training swims where spasm in my hips spasm in my calves generally not feeling great. spasm in your gut spasm in my gut <laughs> that's what I was trying to say without obviously saying it too uh, much and that comes with self-doubt because when I tried to swim 12 kilometers and didn't get that far what I did get from that 11 kilometers of swimming was a swimming costume well and truly branded <laughs> into into my back even though my swim husband did put a lot of factor 50 on he obviously didn't put enough on it so I've got the mark of a swimmer on my back yeah and like we always say you're far more capable than you ever think you are anyone who's embarking on a challenge is bound to feel apprehensive nervous the chimp is probably rattling around in the cage uh, saying no you can't uh, and this is the moment where you kind of got to trust yourself and say yes I can do the training uh, be consistent with it um, and you can do anything so fine this is we've just arrived in the Lake District uh, and we're on our way to Felfort which is the start of Windermere but it's also the start of our Lakes to London journey so we're going to be doing some recceing there we go I think bit undulating doesn't it for the cycle on the way out Woo! got a sharp corner this is all owned by the national trust who are amazingly going to be supporting us on this challenge this beautiful beautiful location welcome to windermere and the start of our lakes to london challenge so this is a little group of us who are part of the support team who are now doing the swim recce um we are here obviously for uh, Windermere 11 miles and we can see in the distance, can't quite see it, but there is a yellow buoy in the far, far distance beyond all the boats and that's a mile and a half. So not far around there, we'll be swimming up that way uh, on this eastern side of the shore and then hopefully doing a round loop on the western side. 
Let's go and have a little look to see if we can see a little bit. Of, look at that water, just beautiful. Let's hope that it's going to be just like this on the 30th of September because that would be pretty awesome. I think we're going to need 